Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we are going to talk about this new update that Gmail launched. This is the third time I'm recording this video because I said some things that are not so accurate. I really hate my barber. I specifically but I think this is gonna be it. So thank you for tuning in today and uh, today we're talking about the new Gmail update. Let's go. Gmail has finally overhauled entirely its, uh, its, user, its user interface. And along with that, they've added so many other features that we're going to discuss today. I have this feeling that everyone uses Gmail, you know. Of course, that's not true. Uh, people use other stuff. But I just think if you don't use Gmail, then just hang out and see what it has to offer. Maybe you change your mind. Maybe you don't. First of all, I want to talk about the design language. Google has been working for around a decade now on something that they like to call material design. So this is like guidelines for Android. In fact, they want to implement this full-fledged on Android. Actually, they already have started implementing it. It seems pretty elementary when you say it out loud, but when you actually look at the efforts they're putting into, they're changing everything from shadows to selections to interactions, animations, color palettes, placements, and shapes of buttons, and so on. One thing that I love in Material Design's templates is, of course, the colors are beautiful, but apart from that, every app has one action button, just one. So if it's the email app, you'll have a compose button. If it's SMS, then you'll ha have another compose button. WhatsApp introduced this into its Android app as well, where there is a compose button. I really like this because it just focuses on one task. Uh, the alarm has a start or a snooze button, depending on what it's doing. It simplifies stuff. When I used Outlook for my workplace, I was like, where do I find the, how do I send a new email? I had to Google it because it was in the top left corner. I have never used Outlook before this February. And I had to just, so this is nice. It's, it shows you how to send it. It shows you the most important operation of that app. Like if it's a phone call app, then call. It's just contrasted completely and it's usually a circle that sh lets you do this stuff. That's awesome. Inspired by this material design, Google has been redesigning all of their stuff and they've been reluctant with uh, Google search engine. That's their most important product and uh, Gmail. That's their second most important product. In fact, all their other services like YouTube, Google Photos, Google Keep, Maps, the entire G Suite and all of this stuff revolve. Yeah, calendar too revolve around a Gmail account. So they've been dropping hints and testing with other stuff. But now Gmail is going all in with the rounded corners and the slick animation in the beginning. Well, in fact, they actually have a design language even for their icons and they have shadow. This thing is awesome. They have shadows that actually show up on your icon and the Gmail icon has a shadow like it's opening the envelope anyway. As I just told you, they've been testing other products. One of those other products is Google Inbox. I don't know if you've heard of this, but it's your regular Gmail email, but with a fresh new interface. First of all, it was so much cleaner. It was this blue white theme, so much cleaner, and it only showed you important stuff. It, uh, the priority email debuted here before it got into Gmail. And now many other stuff from here is going into Gmail. One of those things, is this quick view for your attachments. Instead of reading your entire email or opening it even, you can just click here to look at the attachment and have a gross idea of what that email was about and uh, catch up with those things. It's like a bird's eye view at all of your important emails. Earlier in all Google apps, this hamburger icon used to mean change account or account setting, something like that. But now everywhere across Google products, this hamburger icon is actually minimized. It minimizes everything to the left. It's not like it's gone. You just hover and it's there. That's a nice touch, but it just gives you more real estate. That's, that's smart. So the design is actually more intuitive than it was before. It's neater and less cluttered. Even the settings logo, when you just click down on the settings, it used to be so much cluttered in the old email, but now it's so neatly tucked away in categories and it's so inviting almost you know <laughs> they didn't get all the good stuff from inbox though by the way if you now use google inbox it's public now earlier it used to be private now it's public just go to inbox.google.com and you can sign into your regular gmail account and look at all your email in this inbox template which is really slick they didn't get all the fancy features though one of these things that i liked was all the chats were not down here to the bottom left but they were minimized in this chat icon up to the right you know and i don't use google chat so it's not always in my face you know and in case someone does send me a message i can 
click here to have a look at them. I think Gmail should get that. That brings us to number two, all the smart stuff. Reply to all, always reply to all. Have you been in the situation when you receive an email from let's say Yannick and he has five other people in the thread but when you reply by clicking this reply box you only reply to Yannick by default and the other guys are not in the loop. This has happened to me so many times and this is just inefficient communication. Now in the new Gmail you can set your default to reply to all because always reply to all unless you only want to talk to the writer then you write to him you know as i said before go to the gear settings and go through these tabs there's so much that it has to offer it'll probably make your life easier too thank you so much for watching this video i hope that was helpful if it was then tell me that it was because it does encourage me when you give me a like or leave me a comment about how it was helpful for you if it wasn't then leave me a thumbs down and tell me what part of it you didn't like I'll see you guys in the next one, probably next week. And until then, keep learning.